So today we are making what is considered to be one of the most important rice dishes that originate from Spain. In fact, I cannot believe how long it's taken me to share this with you. Anyways, today we finally have it. We're talking an oven crusted Spanish rice. This dish hails from the beautiful city of Elche, located in the province of Alicante, where it's known as arroz con costra. And let me tell you, this rice has so many beautiful textures and flavors, and with one taste, it's gonna instantly transport you to beautiful España, folks. The best part here is that it's so easy to make, and it's all done in about 45 minutes. Let's begin by getting our ingredients ready. I'm gonna grab one cup, which is about 200 grams of cooked jar garbanzo beans. This is the same thing as the canned ones, adding them into a sieve, and rinsing them under some cold running water. For the next ingredient, I'm gonna finely grate two tomatoes. We wanna end up with about half a cup of grated tomato, which is 110 grams. Of course, you can substitute this for the same amount of canned tomato sauce. Then we're gonna grab four cloves of garlic, and finely mince them. And I'm gonna cut two sausages, each one into small rounds that are a quarter inch thick, which is half a centimeter. Now, traditionally, when you make this dish, you use a couple different types of sausages. I'm only using one. This is Beyond Sausage. Of course, you can use whatever sausage you want to make this rice dish. Just cut it and cook it in the exact same way I am with these. And I'm also gonna reserve one cup which is 200 grams of uncooked ground rice. This is very similar to medium grain rice or arboreal rice. Okay, let's start cooking up our dish. I'm gonna add in two cups of vegetable broth into a saucepan. This is 475 milliliters. Now the vegetable broth I'm using is homemade. You'll find the recipe on how to make it in the I card above. We'll add in a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads. This equals 0.17 grams and we'll heat it with a medium high heat. Now the saffron threads I'm using to make this dish, once again, are from Golden Saffron. Like I always tell you, this is one of the best tasting saffrons out there, super high quality. Link where you can get some in the description box below. While our broth is heating up, I'm gonna grab an oven-proof paella pan. You can use any type of oven-proof pan to make this dish. Heat it with a medium heat and add in a quarter cup, which is 60 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the olive oil for two minutes on a medium heat, I'm gonna add in the pieces of sausage and start mixing the sausages around with that olive oil. You don't have to mix this continuously, but do get in there once in a while. That way the sausages don't burn and they all evenly cook. About four minutes after adding the sausages into the pan, and they're developing a light golden fried color. You don't want to brown them too much. I'm going to make a well in the pan and add in the minced garlic. And start mixing that garlic around with the olive oil. We're only going to go for about 30 seconds here. You don't want to overcook it. You just want it to be nice and aromatic. About 30 seconds after adding the garlic into the pan, I'm going to add in the grated tomato, Mix everything together. And we're gonna simmer this for about two minutes or until that grated tomato has slightly thickened up. After about two minutes, you can see that grated tomato has slightly thickened up. I'm gonna add in our one cup of round rice. Once again, this is 200 grams. Our drained garbanzo beans and season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we're gonna give this a gentle mix until all these ingredients are evenly mixed together. Once everything is well mixed, I'm gonna grab our saffron infused vegetable broth that we have heating and pour it into the pan and we'll give this one final mix. That way all the ingredients are evenly distributed throughout the pan. After this step, you don't wanna mix the rice again, otherwise it disrupts the way that it cooks. We 
while our rice is cooking, I'm going to crack in four cage-free organic eggs into a large bowl. Season the eggs with a little sea salt, some freshly cracked black pepper, and about two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley. And I'm going to whisk this together until the eggs are well mixed. Okay, let's move back to the rice. It's been about 10 minutes since I added the hot broth into the pan. And as you can see, a lot of that broth has incorporated into the rice, but there's still a little bit left. You don't want to bring that broth fully down. Otherwise, when you add this into the oven, your rice is going to burn. I'm going to turn off the heat, pour in the seasoned whisk eggs into the pan. and get in there and mix that egg mixture around. That way it's evenly coating the entire surface. And we're gonna add this into a preheated oven. I've had mine preheating for about 20 minutes. Bake and broil option, that's the bottom and top heat. 210 degrees Celsius, which is 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Now your oven can't do both functions at the same time. No big deal, just bake your rice in there for an extra four to five minutes. After exactly 10 minutes, this rice dish should be perfectly cooked with that layer of egg giving us a beautiful crust. I'm going to remove this from the oven and we'll cover it with a dishcloth and let it sit here for about 5 minutes. This is such an important step by putting a cloth on top, all that steam that stays in there is what's going to finish cooking up all that beautiful rice. After about 5 minutes, I'm going to uncover the pan. And check it out, our arroz con costras done, oven crusted Spanish rice, a beautiful dish from the city of Elche in the province of Alicante. So easy to put together, so many different textures and flavors. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Seriously, look how beautiful this turned out. Here we go. It is so good. But first things first, that rice is perfectly cooked. So important when you take it out of the oven, let it rest covered for five minutes. All the flavors, all the ingredients we had in there, they all shine through in there, especially that saffron. And that crusted egg on top just takes it to the next level. We saw this. An incredible dish from the beautiful city of Elche, arroz con costra. Make it home, serve it next to a bottle of Spanish wine for the ultimate experience. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Martin Giddings and Aravinda Garimeya. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one. Helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this and sharing these Spanish recipes with you. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.